Welcome back to Wizard PhD, it's Professor Lynette, and today I am telling you all about the brilliant part one details try wizarding secrets in Wizards Unite. It's been a hot second since I've done one of these formal sit down videos, but I've been live streaming the info and I uh, just wanted to collect my thoughts and everything. It's been a crazy week for me and lots of other people. So uh, first up, thanks to the Wizards Unite team for providing early information so I can share with all of you and to Orange Wizard for all the infographics. Check them out on Instagram. Um, I'm gonna just read the post and get into it. It says, witches and wizards, help return brilliant foundables from the brilliant Great Hall during part one. We already went through this in the January overview. Starting on Tuesday, this is next week, Tuesday, January 12th, at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Okay, so I'm really excited and I looked at the artwork with y'all on live before. I'm so excited. Look at this beautiful artwork. I, I'm just, I'm excited. And it's Triwizard Tournament. I mean, well, not just Triwizard Tournament, but specifically Secrets, which I'm a little, mm, especially since we found Kit at the end of the last brilliant event. So I guess we'll see. But we have our featured foundables here. We're gonna have Mad-Eye Moody's eye from an encounter. You're a boo <laughs> Actually, both of these are. Goblet of Fire, also a boo uh, We also have Flor de la Cour. So those two in the wild brilliance, you know, are typical things. We know it, we'll have two this week and then two in the next part. Flora is from the Port Key Portmanteau location, which is the Great Hall. Uh, we also have Barty Crouch Sr. <laughs> from the event task. Uh, so just one Port Key this time. One and a half kilometers, one Port Key to walk off. And then Victor Crumb from Wizarding Challenges using those brilliant rune stones. Complimentary gifts on display on the screen right here. Uh, also, along with the bundles that you can purchase, I won't go through the bundles, honestly. I'm saving my gold because <laughs> I need to upgrade my vault space uh, in general for potions. I need to prep for adversaries. I don't have the bandwidth to actually think through these bundles and if they're worth it. So if they're worth it to you, let me know in the comments down below what you plan on purchasing, but we have our typical tonic ingredients and 25 spell energy for free that you can redeem during the week. Now, let's just walk through the task. <laughs> this is what we're here for, right? How do we prepare? So we have uh, Try Wizarding Secrets, page one of four, collect two ingredients for portmanteaus. You know, that's the standard, that's everything. Oh wait, oh no, man. I completely forgot that there are uh, little things, details in the special assignments to read aloud. So we have uh, part one says, when a muggle reporter uncovers the existence of magic, the international statute of secrecy is jeopardized. Will the SOS task force be able to stop the presses, <laughs> oh dear, before the wizarding world is exposed. I already said, it's not even worth the effort. It's the internet. The Muggle Reporter is just gonna blast all over the internet. And uh, there is, I don't think there's a way to stop this, but I don't know, that might just be pessimistic me coming out here. And then part two says, as the search for Bryce Bado, what? I think that's how you say his name, <laughs> Bado. That's how I'm saying it. Um, okay, so people were asking, like, who is this bro? No idea. I, you know, you know me. I already scoured the internet, you know, ironic enough, to look for any sort of information that links to this family name or this specific dude. It could be Tony's name. Maybe we should just start calling him Bryce. I guess we'll find out who this person is. And uh, if, although. Tony is identified as a wizard in some of these. Doesn't matter, but still, that's a name. That is a new name <laughs> that we're gonna be exploring in this month's story. Uh, Hermione raises questions about the muggle's uncanny ability to elude his pursuers. Is there more to this story than meets the eye? I mean, geez, come on, kids. Of course there is. Of course there's more than meets the eye. Anyway, let's just go back to the infographic. Sorry for the interruption. Uh, brew tonic two times, return 12 brilliant Mad-Eye Moody's eye. We've seen these sorts of tasks before um, that Oh, 
my God.